Nice. All right, so let's get started. You guys were fighting a very big, ugly dragon crocodile thing? We had no idea what this thing could do. It cleaned our clock. But body set on fire like a friggin' hero. Crushed and it might from I behind. add, from the back. <laughs> yeah, I was very worried that it was gonna be like immune to fire damage. Unfortunately, like a hero, Andaro went down in a blaze of glory, mm, yes. chewed up by this 15 foot lizard, and spat back out. After slicing good. it uh -huh. to pe well, a huge chunk yep. off of its flesh. Mm -hmm. Stagram, even in his sickened condition, managed to stumble over and fumble a, a potion to body, and he fed it to Anara. Right. And yep. so now we find out that Anara is dead. What? Why is we, that? We have a fourth action moment here that we're going to take time to do here. Yes, I just wanted to hit him with that one. Yeah, we checked the rules as written. And of course, like I said, we, we declared a exception because we did not know this. Um, since she was taken down by a critical hit, she would not have gone to dying one. She'd have gone immediately to dying two. So when wow. she got the critical miss on that dying save, she'd have gone immediately to dying four and die. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. And when you go to Dying Four, there's only one thing to do. What's that? Go to the pockets and check for loose change. <laughs> Which is there with bodies do? right there ready to go. Wait, Fallen is already digging through. <laughs> All I found did it. was me. God, the stupid barbarian. But as yeah. we said, if we had known how those worked, then. Emily would have probably, I'm guessing, taken a different strategy yes. because yeah. there, the rule all. still works yes. that you can spend all your hero points, mm -hmm. whether it's one, whether it's three, whether it's five, and spend them all, and you automatically yeah. make that save. Yes. Which is what I would have done. Yep. So <laughs> I've known that. Yeah. So we haven't really yeah. changed the impact of the game tremendously. It really. would have been the same. It still yeah. ended up with her <clears throat> unconscious in the wounded condition. Mm -hmm. But we're going to roll to the rules as written. Thanks for yeah, learning so with us. We're, we're in combat still. Yes. And body poured an unknown potion down in our throat. Yes. Mm -hmm. We. I mean, I thought I had confirmation from Stagram <laughs> that it, is, it was a healing potion. But, but I mean, honestly, he's. A, we don't know this guy's motives. Don't yeah. take candy That's from true. strangers, boys That's and right. girls. All righty. Uh, so, do we have any rules notes on that? You can feed a potion only to a creature that is within reach and willing or otherwise so helpless that it can't resist. Do you want me to roll it or do you want to roll it in normal? Um, so it is a healing. Yeah, it is. It I, is. Uh, sh sh you roll. I'll roll, roll. it. Okay. Yeah. You're administering it. <clears throat> yeah. I'm rolling my SDA dice. Four points of healing. Four. All right. Okay. You are awake. Okay. Now you do have the wounded okay. condition until you either restore hit points with the treat wounds or are restored to full hit point and rest 10 minutes. Opens her eyes a little bit, it's very groggy, and then she just starts coughing up <coughs> what is probably blood. Yeah, yeah. The, the holes that were through her lungs yeah. have closed up, but you can still see like bloody gashes down her side through her leather. Oh my God. You had a, you had a near, near miss there, <coughs> kind of like with me in that war. I don't think I want to be a hero anymore, body. <laughs> <laughs> Body uh, kind of looks nice as well. We probably need to get you up so you can get out of this place then. Yeah, yeah, that just. But you might want money for the reward of the halfling and he's just right up here, so come on. You uh, want me to get up? Oh my God, I can't stand right. Wargy needs you. She's just gonna kind of close her eyes again. Just, you just give me like 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> okay. Baldwin looks at Body and says, I told you we should have just done the healing. Yeah, <laughs> Body just shakes his head, his ears kind of like, kind of wilt. He's like, I'm just glad you're okay. Got a good hit on him, that's for sure. Did I? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Stagram, when it comes his turn, is gonna pat her shoulder and go, mm. And he turns and he, <laughs> <laughs> and he runs to the big uh, water pit over there. Yeah, yeah. 30 and feet away. he's uh, going to have a large personal protein spill all over that thing. He can barf to get rid of sickness. That's what he's doing on his run. All right. Who's next? Plain and Inara. All right, so did the goblins look like they reacted when Plain yelled that Ambassador Warble had sent us to, to capture this Havilland? Well, they, they did turn towards you and they kind of. <laughs> they seemed very happy. Oh, good. Right. Their ears so not, up. They don't look um, menacing like they're yeah, not they're, defensive or yeah. No. Okay. Uh, so from where plane is at now at the top, how far is he from the heaven? Uh, you're gonna have to come up the steps and go around. How high is it from where he's at to the top? Uh, about 10, 15 feet because you're about halfway up the stairs. So I think plane is just going to leap up 
and grab the wall and climb that 10 feet Sweet. and swing up to the okay. top rather than running yeah. all the way around. An acrobatics check, my friend. Because it's a long way. I think it would take you more than one movement to go all the way down and all the way back up. Mm -hmm. That would be 21. 21. <laughs> you kind of jump and you catch a rock and then pull yourself and then catch the very top. Wild. Yeah. So nice. one move, you're hanging there. Okay. So then I'll just go ahead and pull myself on up and yep. flip. He just rolls up. Yep. To the feet. Alrighty. So now I'm on the same level as the Havling. And I'm going to point at the Havling and say in Goblin loudly, we have been sent to bring you back, dead or alive. And then I point my crossbow at him. I'm say, not coming back! Your choice! <laughs> I'm getting out of here one way or the other! Oh, so he understands Goblin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll cut her ears off! I will! I'll shave her head down! <laughs> All right. this is action. Yep. All righty. So, Indara. Okay. So oh, no. Had... You just came to this one. That was... Yes. Uh, yeah, you Would were... Would that be all of them? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can, like, yeah. come to and, like, stagger to your... Well, grab hold of body and right. climb up him. <laughs> I think she wanted to just for a minute. So. <laughs> I'm going to take a little nappy nap. Take a nap. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fallen? Falwin is going to use an action to command Mesmer to help Plague find the goblin, find the halfling. Okay. And that gives Mesmer two actions, and he's going to try to scramble up the rope or. Well, he could probably up just jump onto the. Awesome. Awesome. Jump that seven feet or whatever up mm -hmm. onto the ledge. Uh, and then, second action, move his full movement speed 25 feet toward the goblin and the halfling okay he's gonna playing. try and go up again like he did or yeah. go around the stairs uh probably just trying to launch again follow okay. the plane yeah all right roll and me a d20 all righty oh no it's a natural one <laughs> what <laughs> oh mesmer come on buddy you're better than that and so it doesn't mean automatic failure on a skill check he does have an acrobatics of five, so it's a six. So he's probably, yeah, like, oh. Uh, yeah, gosh. he's gonna look at that and go, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, realizing he can't make that jump, he'll, he'll go around the, he'll go around the long way. <laughs> and then for Fallen's own action, yeah, uh, she is going to probably stride twice to get over to the rope that's on the rubble over 15, there. 15, 20, 25. Yeah. And then five, ten. Difficult terrain. Yeah. So, so you're so, going to be right there at the rope. Okay. Ready to pull and yourself up. Yes. We'll try that. Try that soon. <laughs> that brings us body you're carrying for Nara, I guess. I don't know. Um, body's looking down at her and she's just like laying there. Yeah. He's like, what are we doing? Yeah, she's just she's <laughs> taking a breather. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Are, so are we in combat or out of combat right now? Uh, you're in combat right now. You're in combat. So... So Body looks down and, and asks Sonora, like, do you want to lay here and I patch you up more? Are you too hurt to get up? Or do we yeah, get... just, just give me a minute. Do you have any, like, I don't know, what's that liquor that you use for, like, cleaning wounds? Can I just drink some of that real quick? N nothing you should be drinking. What about, <laughs> is your, is your, is your wineskin it's empty? It's empty, yeah. I... It, listen, I'm not getting up unless. <laughs> Body, like, looks at her like, what am I dealing with here? You got anything, man? Come on, please. Come on. Right, uh, body, use prestidigitation to make some water taste. Yes! Like alcohol. Yes! Uh, does that actually work? Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah prestidigitation, it can fla I can flavor something. Hmm. So, body pulls out his water skin and says, Roy, and he says, just let me, let me just sterilize this for you so it's so so it doesn't make you worse and he's like boop <laughs> <laughs> how's that go and he bibbity bobbity boos it and give you gives you some <laughs> gives you the water skin he kind of looks at it watches you like oh, oh yeah that's perfect. <laughs> perfect that's perfect thank oh. you and then she'll kind of waddle a little bit and make her way up and okay. stand up finally tuck your guts back in yeah well right now i mean her guts are all still in there because of the healing potion yeah. she's out of the dying condition it's just you know there's like a big rip mm -hmm. on oh. the side and there's like still bloody 
I mean, this puncture thing was wounds. puncture wounds. I mean, she's still got some bloody wounds in her. Oh, she's got four hit points right now. This thing is large, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Body uh, says, maybe a fresh treat for for Wargi here. If you want to carve some of this off later. Oh yeah, yeah. Just look, you're asking too much of me, man. I, I, I just woke up. I, man. I just got my first me, drink in the morning. Give dead. me a minute. Yes. She was only mostly dead. Okay, that's Body's turn. Okay. And we are back to the top of the round. All right. Kalman is screaming at you, put down the crossbow, I made it, I'll do it. And so Plame is gonna go Just walk in go. and approach. Uh, can you get past those goblins in front of you? Uh, they're gonna be difficult terrain, but yeah. That's okay, I can tumble yeah. through them if they're willing. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's, what's that game where you jump over each other? Leapfrog. 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 Oh. Yes, I just leapfrog over the. Yeah. Leap, 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 He's just leap. running across their heads. Yeah, okay. they don't mind. <laughs> they they running over sheep. And then I'll smile in my nice, most friendly goblin smile. And then I look at him and I say, You seem to think I care? And then I continue like 10 more feet and stop. And then I point my crossbow at him. Let the goblin go. Ooh. I'll make a wisdom check here. That is not a good roll on a. <laughs> So tell me where it is. You tell me where it is. You tell me how to get down there. Or I'll cut her. Yeah, that's his three turns. All right. So Inara's getting up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Falwin? Falwin's going to try to climb this rope. All righty. Roll me an athletics jack. Woohoo. Cheese and crackers. Natural one. What? She jumps up. For a total up. of four. She jumps up and goes, ha! And just slides down. It. <laughs> oh, fallen. So fallen. S- <laughs> <laughs> fallen over the place. So <laughs> second action, stand up from prone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and third action, we're gonna try again with my red dirt dice. Natural twenty. Yeah. Woo! So it's a total of a twenty-three. Yeah. Well, she had skipped, you know, uh, gym class <laughs> in school. <laughs> had no idea how ropes work. Now she realizes you have to hang on to them. <laughs> <laughs> when I grabbed before, Dad just always pulled me up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mom just always pulled me up. <laughs> Dad just went levitate. <laughs> <laughs> so you are right there at the base of the stairs. Oh. Whew. All right. Mesmer, I assume, will be continuing on his previous orders, which oh. were to help claim. So we're gonna go five, 10, 15, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And weaves through these it's goblins. Like between, between your legs. Rubbing your legs. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for scratches and treats. Yeah. So he's just gonna, he's, he's behind, he's sneaking up on the haveling. He's standing behind Plame, one ear sticking out on either side of Plame's leg. <laughs> Total stalker mode. Yep. <laughs> and that brings us down to. Alec, who's busy, body. Body seeing that Inara is getting up on her feet and everything, uh, walks over to Stagrim and at what's going on with him. Uh, he's, he's just getting it all out. I rolled max duration on him. He's gonna need a couple, <laughs> couple rounds. Um, he sees, looks, over, looks up and sees Plame and Fawen and Mesmer approaching the halfling and he just keeps an eye on the halfling. He'll move closer. Now, can we see the halfling in the in the doorway still or is he all the way in there? He's all the way in there. You, you, I mean, you can t- you can kind of see some shadowy shapes moving around, but okay. you really can't see what's going on. And Buddy's what, like Pythagorean theorem from the tower, he's like, what, yeah, the, 50 the, feet below? This is 40 a 30 feet foot below? wall. Okay. Body yeah. uh, uses his third action to recharge his spell strike. He thinks he needs to use okay. it again. And he just, Keeping, keeping a watchful eye on what's going on up there, watching those goblins, making sure that they're, they're not causing any, like posing any threat to mm-hmm. uh, Fallen Plane, and that's it. That's right, his turn. Yeah. Right now, they seem to be cheering on uh, Plane. Plane. You Got- get him. You get. We're right behind you. You notice they're not moving forward anymore. We're right behind you. <laughs> <clears throat> cool. So that takes us back to the top of the round. All right, Plane. He tried to intimidate this handling. It doesn't appear that it worked. Although the handling may be a little more nervous. And just real quick, since. The Havling has this goblin in basically an arm lock. Mm-hmm. Are they in the same space? Yes. Okay, so Plame is gonna sit and kind of stare at the Havling for a second, and he's gonna kind of let his face fall, and his shoulders slump a little bit, and dropping a weapon's a free action, right? Yeah. Fine, and he drops his weapon. 
and then as a move action, he immediately sprints forward. So that's five, ten, and then he's in this space. He's going to tumble or attempt to tumble through and land up behind the oh, hadling. Oh, nice. So come on now. That's a tumble through, which is a acrobatics, acrobatics check. Yep. And I get a plus two bonus because me being a bouncy goblin. So that's an 11 plus, plus seven acrobatics, 18, 19, 20. Ah, so that'll Ooh. definitely get you through. Tumble. So he tumbles through and ends up behind the havling. Mm-hmm. Second action, he's going to pull his dog slicer, and third action, he's going to slack this guy across the knees. Ooh. Nice. Are you going to do it non-lethally, or? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a goblin, you kidding? Not for the first round. So that's a 14 plus 7, 21. That will actually miss. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Yeah. What is up Wait, with this half? Here's a question. Is that goblin considered uh, an ally? <laughs> is he flat footed? <laughs> well, he's grappled, right? Yeah, they have to be threatening. Uh, so, no, doesn't count. So, it actually missed. He uh, turns and actually you catch, he catches your attack on his uh, van brace, his, his shin armor. <laughs> nice try. Go and be quick. That, is that your all three actions? Let's see. There's the tumble, the draw the weapon, and the attack. Yeah. Tumble, draw the weapon. Yeah, that's all three. <clears throat> all right. Well, Calment is going to spin and throw that goblet in you. Okay. Oh. What's your fortitude save? Fortitude. Plus four. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't trip you, but that the, the goblin is now an intervening obstacle. Okay. And he steps back, and uh, he turns. Let's see. He's going to fling a dagger at you. Is that a second attack? Yeah, second attack. 22, I believe your hit. Is a hit, but not critical. All right, he got you for six points. Six. six. Yeah. So now I'm at 10. Okay. So he steps back and he <coughs> hits you, and then quick draw. What? Immediately flips out another one and <coughs> sinks it at you again. That one goes wild. How wild? <laughs> a crit miss. Yes! Ooh. Not a natural one, but nope. a critical miss. But he does get the goblin. Stay oh, between you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's the complication. Yep. Minimum damage, five points. <laughs> Still conscious, but definitely hurt. Uh, Indara? Yeah, she's completely unaware of what whatever is going on up there. Not focused. She is going to go over to Stagram and Body. And is he still yeah. in the- <laughs> Okay. He's, he's like Finishing wiping up. his face. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, she going to reach down. Dump some of that water on her face. Oh, the brackish, <laughs> yucky water. Oh, no. to Give me a wisdom check. Seven. Oh, no. Do you oh, have no. survival perchance? Let's see. No. Excellent. What? <laughs> oh. Urban Barbarian Look, has no survival. She's, Urban Barbarian, she she's doesn't com- recognize the water being nasty. She's completely out of it. Oh, no. She Give just woke fortitude. up. Give me a fortitude check. Oh. <laughs> That's a modified 21. This stuff is nasty. Apparently this thing's like been pooping in it or something. Oh man. She's not paying attention. So she flashes her face a little bit and it doesn't it doesn't affect her. Not good though. Gross. You make your save so you're not sickened, okay. but you now stink like lizard poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with this water? <laughs> You just made the hobgoblin sick. Body's eyes go wide and he kind of like pulls his head back and his ears like kind of peel backwards as well. And he's like, can't you smell that? What? That horrid smell from this water. Don't put that on your body. I thought that was just the lizard thing. Plane's in trouble. We'll, we'll, we'll get you cleaned up in a minute. Okay. Well, I just needed a little refresher, you know, get my get my senses going and drink that stuff I gave you. Yeah. <sighs> he's just he's like blown away. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one action. Yeah. Or no, I moved. Two act. Move, move and, and then dump. I did that. Yeah. She's still very out of it, and I, the smell <sighs> is not helping. And she's gonna kind of look up and see what's going on up there. And so the only way to get up there is that rope. Yep. Or okay. you can climb a wall. Okay. 
She will move over here. The edge of the rubble pile? Yeah. All righty, Falwin. Falwin's gonna move up the stairs and then around the battlement until she can, however many move actions that takes, until she can see Plame and the halfling. Okay, so moving up the stairs will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, and then 5 and 15, 20, 25. So you're at the edge of the crumble. And I thing. can't quite see around the curve. Well, this is broken, missing chunk, like a, like a big chunk of the battlements have collapsed. Oh. Well, normally you can go around, but there's a row of goblins in the way. Gotcha. Because this is a 10 foot wide thing, but half of it's collapsed and it's blocked by goblins. Uh, so can I do a move action to get um, through there, like for half so that speed? Was one, two, yeah, you can half speed through them. They basically okay. treat them as uh, rough terrain, unless you want to try an acrobatics over them. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So that'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You'd end in the middle of these middle goblins. Of goblins. Oh, excuse me, I'm trying to help. You to move out of the way. God, she doesn't speak goblin, so she's like, you know, no, yes, thank you. Move. No, stop. Uh, move. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And there's this one goblin. He's just he's just rubberneck and he's in your way. He keeps going back and forth and you're trying to get around him. <laughs> I'm on my way, play. <laughs> Alec is going to clean himself up. And um, body? <laughs> uh, that uh, halfling swap positions with that goblin, did it make itself less visible or more visible? Oh, body he would there? be, I will say, half in the doorway. So if I try to do a spell attack at him, he'd have cover? Yeah, he'd have cover, but you can go after him. Okay, body's gonna move up. I'm sure, it, so ignition has a 30 foot range. Frostbite, however, has a 60 foot range. I think he's within 60 feet. If yeah, it's 30 foot up. So 45 feet at an angle. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you get him. I'm gonna frostbite him. Seven, so it's only a 13. Oh, nope. You hit the doorway. That's Potty's nope. turn. So back to the top. Plame and Comet. Okay, so Plame's up. He's a little shocked. He thought that was a pretty good strike that he hit that missed this guy. But if nothing else, he's persistent. So he's going to step forward five feet, which brings him directly in front of the handling. And he's going to take another swipe. Hope springs eternal. Come on, fire dice. 13 and 7, only a 20. Quick as lightning, he has a series of daggers on his chest. Mm -hmm. He grabs one of them and whips it out and just tink, blocks your attack. Got levels. Mm, I guess yeah. so. Mm. All right, well, why not? Second attack, what's the worst news? I can always maybe roll 20. No. 13 <laughs> and 7 is a 20 minus. Five so, is, uh, oh, it's an agile weapon, so it's minus four. Mm -hmm. Minus four. So yeah, 20 minus four is 16. Ah. So still not critical. It's just a mess. Yep. So he blocks that one and then dodges your second attack. And that should be move, attack, it's going to be all three. Yep. Man. Well, he's going to go after you then. All righty. Uh -huh. And Nara's not going to be the only one going to die today. <laughs> 11 plus 9 is going to be a 20. Oh, 20 will hit. That will oh. hit. It's going to be die 4 plus 4. That's going to be 6 points. Same as last time. Okay. So you are now at, at 15 four. points of damage. Yeah, at 4. Four hit points. So, yeah, he catches you right across the face. I'm gonna chop your ears off too. I'm gonna cook the lot of you. Tell me where it's at if you wanna live. And he's gonna take a step back. He's got that other dagger out. Now is he out on the on the on the ledge now? Mm-hmm. Good. Alrighty. Is he here or here? Um, there, I guess. Because okay. he stepped straight back out of the door. So he's now visible. He's a tough fighter. He's just not making the smartest decisions. It's all righty, Inara. So she is going to drink the rest of whatever body gave me. Vodka infused water. <sighs> yeah. And she's, she's starting to wonder why she's not feeling better. Maybe it's not working. And then she is going <clears throat> to... So how... How high up is he? 30 feet up. 30 feet. Is that, can, can I even like? Leap that? No. Attempt to <laughs> leap that or what? Okay. You Corner. might think you can. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna think about there's what she rope, wants to do there's here. Some, there's a rope, there's some stairs that are broken off so that they stop about halfway down. And then there's a rope hanging off the end of them. Okay. She's completely out of it. She is gonna spend an action this deciding mm. what to do. So one action walk in there. <laughs> and uh. can I make a check for what would be the fastest way to get up there? Yeah, that would be intelligence, I guess. It's just a 16 oh. minus one, 15. Okay. 
probably up the stairs. Probably up the stairs? Yeah, well, the stairs will get you at least halfway. Yeah. Okay. But climbing doesn't seem like a good option. So she's kind of like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll just go the easy way. And yeah. she'll <laughs> go over here to the rope. Okay, so that's going to be a move probably, see, what is that? Five, five 10, 10, 15, 20. 15. Cause they count as double because you climb okay. over rubble. And then she will climb up the rope. All right. Which... Athletics check. Okay. Oh my God. You're at minus one, by the way. Why am I at minus wounded. one? Wounded. You're wounded one. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. You're wounded one, so minus one to all rolls. 10. You barely make it up. Okay. Oh. You gotta struggle. Okay. <laughs> that wound in your side. Yeah. yeah. You kind of collapse on the stairs there. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> that punctured lung is kind of slowing you down a little. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Okay, Fallen, you are up. Fallen is going to move forward about 15 feet or so, the last five, okay. 10 feet so wiggling through these goblins. Five, 10. Along the ramparts. 15, yeah. And then is going to second action cast on plane, uh, nudge fate. She's going to use a, oh. a hex, a hex cantrip to nudge fate. And that, of course, is going to give plane a status bonus on an attack roll or a skill check or a saving throw if it would turn it into a success or a critical okay. success. But doing that activates on Mesmer his familiar trait of balanced luck. Hmm. And so uh, there's something about Mesmer that maybe affects this uh, halfling uh -huh. so that he has a minus one Ooh. status penalty to his AC. Uh, plane, you feel like the tides are turning. You got this, you're a hero, you can do this. And so that is move action and then one action to cast the hex for her last action, she is going to give Flame Guidance, which is a plus one bonus to Those are both one action yep. abilities? Guidance is, a, guidance is a regular cantrip, and Nudge Fate is a hex cantrip. Boom. Okay. Oh, hold on, strike that. Hang on just a quick second. Do, 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 do. They're both status bonuses. Ah, so, so, stack. So, so for her last action, <laughs> Fallen will pull out her sling. Okay. okay, you're pulling your sling out. Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Alec is next. He is going to retrieve Wargi. What is he doing? <clears throat> with? He's tying the dog oh, okay. to the uh, to the bars. So one action, two action. So yeah. <laughs> so body, yep. Body uh, says to this halfling, "It's no use. Stand down." What language are you using? Common. Okay. He says to the halfling, "There's no need for this to turn more violent." We just, want, we just want to know what, what happened with the fire. He looks down at you and goes, Go! You're a big ugly one! You eat the others! Wow. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> he is such a pain for. in the... Body unfazed by the insult says, That's very clever, but it would be more clever if, you, if you'd stand down. We do not need to hurt you. Are you trying <laughs> to make like a diplomacy check or...? Um, I don't you know. Can. Should I? I was just literally just talking to the dude, but uh, <laughs> you can try. <laughs> let me. I mean, I, I have a zero diplomacy, zero intimidation. You roll natural twenty. Go uh, for it. Yep. Yeah, he'll go for he'll go for diplomacy. <laughs> yeah. What was you? Yeah. The funny oh. thing is about rolling a number two on the dice, which I did, is the twenty is right next to the two. Uh huh. <laughs> they so, they share and they share a side. On so the, what what. What is your adjusted roll, body? That would be two plus my diplomacy, mm -hmm. so a two total. <laughs> What's your charisma modifier? Uh, zero. Zero, <laughs> so two. Yeah. Okay, well, There's you no... needed a 16, so that is a critical failure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I made oh, it is. mad. So the complication is he is he is insulted. He's like, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not being that witch's slave one more day. Oh. I'm glad I burned him. I should have burned him more. Man oh. Fallen, what'd you do to this guy? <laughs> this this sparks Fallen's interest here over hearing these words. Yeah. So that was that was one action from body. His fine, have it your way. Boom, blast him with another uh, ray of frost. Or I'm sorry, the new name for ray of frost is now 
frostbite. Frost. And instead of ray, it's an orb of biting cold causes around your target, freezing its body. Oh, and it's different. It's not an attack roll. Oh. It's a it's a fortitude save. Oh, so I, sweet. So, yeah. Hmm. Um, target takes 2d4 cold damage with a basic fortitude save. On a critical failure, target also gets weakness 1 to bludgeoning until the end of your turn. So, hmm. he has to make a fortitude save. But that means I can't you I can't use frostbite on my uh, spell strike attack mm. because it uh it does it's not a targeted attack. Ah, well you know the the elf tried to teach you both, but it's, it's elf magic. <laughs> Good to know in the future. Well, you've been running in the ray of frost, so we'll keep it at least at least for this combat. We'll keep it that way. So in that case, roll a two hit. Let me roll a two hit on this bad boy. Natural one. Oh. Man. <gasps> I have no Poor hero points left. This could be bad. Failure, because it's a spell. Anybody want to give me a hero point? I yeah. think I have it's not, one. It's not worth it. Let's do, let's do a critical fail. Let's see what it does. I think I have one. It's okay. We don't okay. have to use it. Your head explodes. Critical fail. The spell's oh. the bottom one, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, mental slip. You are controlled by the target until the end of your next turn. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. For the listeners, we have a really cool uh, Pathfinder Critical Fumble mm -hmm. deck, and the Critical Fumble for a spell is Mental Slip. You are controlled by the target until the end of your next turn. Well, th on this one, each time it's different. Yeah, each time th it's th different. this this is the one I drew. Mm -hmm. I would oh. like to note about heads exploding. There is actually one in there that's like that. That where does your say head, that there is one where that's your like, head just literally yeah. explodes and you die. Yeah, you yeah. no well, save. Maybe, you're oh, dead. I'm not kidding. Is it no save. I think I it's, it was safe. There's, I think there's, there is a save. Oh, is maybe, there a save? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there's a melee one that's like decapitation. You, you decapitate yourself. You decapitate yourself, and there's a save. You know, decapitate, save or die. His idea was it to use this deck now. <laughs> okay. So how many moves do you have left? How many actions do you have left? That was my third. Oh, lucky. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank Witches you, Dice. Burn them all. That's Body's turn. <laughs> okay. So that's Body's turn. We're back around to Plummy. You know, he, he took that knife wound. He's kind of staggering a little bit. And he's feeling kind of down because he hasn't had a chance to even touch this guy who's been just lightning quick. He looks up and he sees Fallen back there. And you see his eyes kind of light up a little bit and a smile come back to his face. Now, quick uh, rules question. Yeah. Is Mesmer an ally? Yes, he is. All right. So, Plame is going to step forward. And now, this Havling is flanked between Mesmer. Yes, he is. And. Sweet. Plame. <laughs> so, Sweet. come on, fate. So, that's a 19 on the dice. And the Havling is flanked, so he's at minus 2 AC. Uh huh. And then he's at minus 1 AC from the spell. Mm -hmm. So, that's a minus 3 AC. Does that hit? Okay, so you have an adjusted 19. Yes. You would have missed him, except he started to step back, and there's that damn cat in the way. And it so, distracts him for a second, and you catch him. You hit because Mesmer gave him bad luck. Nice. Yeah. All right, so with the dog slicer, that is die six plus four. Oh, he's, he's flanked too, so he's flat-footed. He is flat-footed. That yeah. makes a difference, because I have an agile weapon. Wait a minute, this sneak attack just to be flat-footed. Caught off guard, yes. They just have to be caught off guard. That's it for sneak attack. That's a little different. So it's two die six plus four and right. plus one because the dog slicer has the backstabber, then they get a plus one. Ooh. So two die six plus five. So it's seven on the dice plus five is 12 points of damage. You jump forward and he, you catch him in the side pretty hard. He's wearing leather armor, but you poke him. Nice, he's right. done. He's like, ah! He's, he's still up on his feet, but he, yep. you, you hurt him. And then Plane's going to take for his third action a second attack, since he's just feeling like the, the tides are turning here. Does he look really hurt? He, he's, he's above half. He's above half, so he's going to yeah. go ahead and take another, another swipe. And that will miss. It's a six plus seven. Is that 13? Yep. Uh, so it's not a critical miss, but just a miss. And All that's right. his actions. Um, what is Kalman gonna do? He's definitely getting out of that flake. That's just a bad place to be. He's too angry though. He just surrounded her, but he's just too angry. He's going to jump back and spin around. Oh, and facing uh, Fallen. Uh -huh. That's one move, and the second one, he is gonna knife you. 
Oh boy. He's gonna knife you up right nice. That is a nat one. Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Fate. <laughs> Don't mess with fallen and fate. So the GM has pulled a critical fumble card. Your enemies are concealed from you until the end of your next turn. Oh. oh. Concealed means you have to roll a oh, yeah. five or better. Five or better even to try to take yep. an attack. That's awesome. Yeah, as you dodge, he kind of stumbles on the cat. You like throw your cloak over his head. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to try the second one. Okay, First you have a, to roll a 20 uh, to see if you roll a five or higher. Just a flat five. All right, that is a four. Yeah, that's his final action. So he spins his last action, dragging that cloak off from over his head. <laughs> that damn cat, I'm going to skin it. We'll skin it right up. Awesome. All right, and Nora? So how far away am I from the action? Um, you can try and climb here, because now it's only like 10 foot. Yeah, uh, I'll just try and climb up. OK, give me the athletics check. Modified 26. Sweet. Whoa. She's she just back in the game. <clears throat> She's yeah, getting, she is yeah. getting angry. <laughs> Brackish water she doesn't know, but climbing walls, totally urban barbarian. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Roll over to the top. Uh, and then, so that was a move action. Yep. Right? So <laughs> can I be like, I want to be, well, I was going to try and do the intimidating glare. On yeah, you still good. I'm just stumbling up, shoving past these goblins, and then I just put my arms on my hips and stare at them. All right, give me a roll. Okay. I think, is it? Yeah, I roll intimidation against his will. Save. Right. That's gonna be 22 modified. Ooh. Ooh. He's feeling a little intimidated. He's starting to get surrounded here. Mm -hmm. So on a success, frightened one, Okay. And then critical success is frightened too. Now it'll just be a frightened. Okay. Move. All righty. Now fallen. We'll find out what you do next time. We're uh, right mid round, but we gotta cut. Uh, gotta cut. Uh, man. Woo! Everybody take notes. Yep. Oh man, that one went fast. That was yeah. good. That yeah. worked well. I, yeah. I like the way that the fate and you know that all that stuff and it's some nice to Wayfinder Legends is a production of Red Dirt RPG LLC, and all original characters and artwork are the property of the respective creators. The Age of Ashes Adventure Path was originally produced by Paizo Publishing, and all Paizo titles, characters, and artwork are used with respect under the guidelines of the OGL and ORC gaming licenses. If you like what you've heard, join the party at patreon.com slash reddirtdnd. You'll get additional content, Discord access, quarterly gifts, and more. Join the party at patreon.com reddirtdnd. Nora drinking a potion right there. Yeah. <laughs> the nature of Pathfinder 2E is that I think most of the time, the stuff we fight, if we get a critical hit on us, it's gonna be nasty. Yeah, it's gonna, basically, whoever crits first, more or less. Yeah, he has a big advantage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Do you have any, like, I don't know, what's that? liquor that you use for like cleaning wounds. Can I just drink some of that real quick? You got some rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Come back for our next episode. It's a very special episode where we have a intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty loud. Mm -hmm. That halfling got away again. <laughs> <laughs> you got away on a motorcycle. <laughs> Sagum goes over and slays Warden. Yeah. <laughs> and our rages. Oh <laughs> the DM is finally rid of that beast. <laughs> it would be a throwdown right here. <laughs> she just comes diving off the battlements. <laughs> I think the audience beast. would rage. I think we'd have to cancel the show. <laughs> be a total TPK. Goblins are rough terrain. Are they rough terrain if I just shove them out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> These goblins go flying off the battle. Oh, I love the this idea. Stamp it all over them. They get a little irritated. <laughs> that is a nat one. He's, aller he's allergic to the cat dander. <laughs> he's got watery eyes there. <laughs>